state. Today I'll be talking about my image of the Nelsonville Rising Star Mill. I don't know about you, but I just love the old mills of Wisconsin, and this one is a doozy. It has a lot of history behind it and is one of the more interesting mills uh, uh, in the area. This mill was built by Jerome Nelson as he returned from the Civil War. He bought land from the Stoltenbergs, which is a common name in these parts. He started a grist mill, and that grist mill uh, uh, was a, an entity into the 1900s. In 1917, they bought a, uh, uh, a water flow control device from Woodward Governor Company. Uh, as part of putting in a hydroelectric dam. Now this has some significance for our area is that Woodward Governor grew up in the Rockford area and for some time had a plant here in Stevens Point. In fact, their hydroelectric uh, division was here in Stevens Point and I and two of my colleagues had uh, the pleasure of providing medical services at that plant for a number of years. Uh, the engineers there uh, continued to pay a visit to the Nelsonville mill to uh, service the uh, governor. In case you didn't know, a governor is a uh, flow fuel control device. It's used to control the speed of the turbines uh, so that um, the amount of electricity can be controlled. Uh, uh, Woodward governor continues to have a significant presence in hydroelectric but also has a significant presence in the aircraft industry where it makes uh, fuel control devices for jet uh, uh, aircraft uh, engines. Now, I had always heard that in the Northern Hemisphere, water circles to uh, uh, clockwise as it goes down a drain, but when you go in the Southern Hemisphere, it circles in the opposite direction. And uh, I had the opportunity to talk to many Woodward Governor uh, engineers and technicians as they were getting ready to travel to far-flung places to service the, uh, uh, the governors on various hydroelectric plants. Um, we did things such as <clears throat> making sure their, <coughs> excuse me, making sure that their immunizations were up to date, um, that they had. Uh, uh, malaria prophylaxis if they were going into a malaria uh, area, um, that they had medications that they needed to have, um, but also it was a good opportunity to talk to them about where they were going and the job that they were going to do. Now I tasked each and every one of them that I saw that was going to the southern hemisphere to tell me if the water was going down the drain clockwise or counterclockwise. To my chagrin, everyone that came back reported that uh, the water went clockwise, just like it does in the Northern Hemisphere. Well, this was a great mystery to me until one time I had the opportunity to be in Quito, Ecuador. Now, Quito is right along the uh, equator, and uh, I went to a local equator museum where they demonstrated how the water goes clockwise down a drain in the Northern Hemisphere and counterclockwise uh, in the Southern Hemisphere. In fact, uh, they had a demonstration sink that they moved just six feet north of the equator to six feet south of the equator and demonstrated it. They furthermore said that sink manufacturers um, design the sinks so that the water always goes in a clockwise direction. But if you have a simple hole, then it will go clockwise in the north and uh, counterclockwise in the south. So this was one of the uh, great mysteries of mine that was uh, finally solved. At any rate, the mill uh, uh, ceased uh, commercial operations a number of years ago, and I uh, believe it was taken over by the state uh, Wisconsin DNR to uh, remove the spillway to um, uh, restore a Class A trout stream. And a little while later, it was uh, sold to the uh, Portage County Historical Society. Um, they have a museum in, inside and uh, host several events during the course of the year. This picture was taken in the spring. It looks a little bit like a fall picture because of no tree, uh, leaves on the tree and uh, typical fall colors, but it actually is in the spring where you can see the gentle greens of uh, spring. And these are the leftover colors from the winter. 
Uh, it was uh, taken on a very foggy day, uh, which helped to mute some of the uh, background uh, um, uh, of the image uh, providing this just spectacular view of the Rising Star uh, Mill. Uh, this image, uh, like many others, is available on my website, which is www.sandersonphotoart.com. You can also uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Threads, with my handle being Sanderson Photo Art. Um, thanks uh, for uh, spending some time with me today, and may uh, God bless you and your family, and may you have a, a great year. And uh, hey. Please think of me when you start to think about uh, decorating your house or your office with wonderful images of central Wisconsin or Wisconsin in general. Uh, thank you so much. I really, uh, uh, I really appreciate it.